make sure to check out my Patreon for exclusive videos never before seen on YouTube. And don't forget to also check out the memberships on my channel page to join and gain access to perks and see videos early. Make sure to click the subscribe button and hit the bell and be notified of new videos. All the support goes to the production of the channel for better content. Now let's get into the video. After the defeat of the Saiyans, this greatly changes the era of Dragon Ball Z. As we know, Frieza would never know about the Dragon Balls. This means that he would not have a conquest for immortality. This means that Frieza would still be doing his normal thing, drinking wine on ship. Now this means as well that Namek was not destroyed at all. So the Namekians are peaceful, the Dragon Balls remain hidden there, but of course we have the Dragon Balls on Earth, but they never speak about it. They only had interest in the hybrid Saiyans. Now, Frieza wouldn't really have any care or interest about it, as he only heard it through intercoms, but he doesn't care about that thing. That's stupid. Would he be mad about there might be monkeys? But maybe, but he wouldn't necessarily care about them. Eh, they're just nothing to him. So this means that the Frieza arc would never happen. The Namek arc would not happen. This greatly changes things, as Frieza would still be alive in this timeline, and there would be no Super Saiyan Goku. They would never venture to Namek, and Krillin would never die. So they would never have to use the Namekian Dragon Balls. This also means that Goku would have never gone to Yardrat to learn instant transmission and to master Super Saiyan form even more. So life would actually be peaceful on Earth. Not much would really change other than the fact that, of course, there's no Namek. So they would all just be training, relaxing, and over a year would pass. Gohan would still be doing his studies as GG focused him on, but... Goku knows that if those Saiyans ever come back, since of course Vegito said so, and they would be fools to not take up on it, he will keep on training Gohan, and he worked it out with Chi Chi that Gohan has to train to grow stronger, but he can still study. But Gohan's passion is fighting, he only does studying to basically do it for his mother, and he loves his mother. So, Gohan would still sneak off with Goku all the time, and they would continue training back and forth. Goku was amazed by Gohan's potential, and the fact that Gohan is as strong as he is, and probably going to surpass him soon, already at this young age. Gohan has learned a lot more, and I feel like Piccolo would also warm up a little bit. Now, we can throw in a little arc to where, it is true, Piccolo would want revenge, as he not necessarily had Gohan to warm up to. So Piccolo would probably challenge Goku to a, to a final fight to take over the world. But with Goku and the other Z Fighters, Goku would have probably defeated Piccolo. And Piccolo at this point knows that there's no point in this anymore. It's stupid. And Piccolo would probably start befriending Goku as a more, more like a rival just to see him stronger. And this is when I think he would have a good connection with Gohan as Gohan would rub off on him. So Piccolo would actually call Gohan his friend. And Piccolo would also teach Gohan some unique tricks as well as Gohan is already growing so fast at this point that he's already going to surpass Piccolo, and Goku was struggling to keep up with him. So also since Goku never went to go fight the Saiyans too, this means that there's no King Kai training, so Goku has no access to King Kai, nor does he have access to, of course, Kaioken or the Spirit Bomb. Now, the one change that we are going to do here is what happened to Vegeta. Well, since Vegeta was defeated, he would probably keep on training and keep on taking over planets under Frieza's rule, but his plan is, is that he does want to overrun Frieza one day. But he knows that he cannot fight Frieza, but he wants to take care of those fools at Earth, but he knows that he'll wait his time to do it. So I feel like Vegeta would actually begin to start training, because now he has determination. As he would just fly his ship off to random places, maybe start training and fighting a lot more. There probably is training grounds on Frieza's empire, and Vegeta would just start to grow more powerful. Now, some people might argue with us and say, well, if Frieza sees Vegeta's growth is so high, same with the other people like the Dark, you know, the Doria and Zarbon, they would want to kill Vegeta before he gets too strong. Well, Vegeta learned a trick from Earth, as he said this in the Namek Saga, that he learned how to conceal his power. So, and also how to sense energy. He doesn't really need a scouter anymore, but he just uses it just for show, as he doesn't want them to know his abilities, and Vegeta's not a fool. So yeah, Vegeta would keep his power level roughly what it was in the original, so they don't have any second ideas or any second guesses. 
while Vegeta would be training harder than ever to grow more powerful. Past this though, back onto Earth, life would be truly peaceful for you can say about over a year as then a time ship would then land and they don't know who this is or what it is as a being would then step out and it was none other than Piccolo? It was Piccolo, but now there's two Piccolos. What's going on? But this version of Piccolo was much different. He had a massive scar over his face and he had massive damage to his body, but he had a cloak to block his body. Piccolo, this version, would then actually speak to Goku and Gohan explaining who he is and he already knows that Piccolo can hear him, so the two Piccolos would meet. And you would definitely have a little connection there as this Piccolo is completely different from the original Piccolo. He's a lot more calm, he's a lot more peaceful, and a lot more at calmness with himself. This version of Piccolo also looks a little bit different. That's because he fused with Kami during this time as well. In the future timeline, this version of Piccolo fused with Kami to try and fight the androids. He would explain who the androids are. There are these two beings that are immensely powerful, and they showed up because of Dr. Jiro. Now, these androids basically killed most of the Z fighters as we didn't have much of a chance and Goku couldn't have been able to fight them because he had the heart virus and he died so Goku was kind of let down the fact that you could not fight these androids but now Gohan asked what about me and Piccolo was the most hurt about it Gohan was just a young boy and Dr. Jiro knew that Gohan had this latent potential and the fact that he could grow stronger than the androids potentially so once when the androids were created without nobody preparing for it, the first thing the androids did was they went to Son Goku's house where they killed Chi Chi and they took their chances and teamed up on Gohan, killing him. Piccolo would state that he tried everything in his power to try and stop the androids, but they gravely wounded him and he was able to escape, barely with his life, as they completely destroyed the entire area, killing the Sun family. Piccolo states that Earth is a war zone now, as pretty much the Earth is just fighting to survive as the androids play around and destroy everything. Piccolo would state that, and I also fused with my other half, Kami. Which this would also make the previous Piccolo kind of snort at him a little bit and say, Oh, well, we're definitely not the same, because I would never fuse the old fool. Future Piccolo would look at him and state, You are the bigger fool here. You were no different than I was at your time. I'm the same as you. He would state that fusing with Kami was the best thing that happened to me, because I saw the true reason. And Piccolo would state that I'm in no condition to truly fight like I used to no more because I'm far from healing yet. But once when I become strong enough, I'm going to crush those androids and I'm going to help use the Dragon Balls to try and wish them back. Which Goku would comment stating, why didn't you do it before? And Piccolo would say that the androids and Dr. Jiro, they've set perimeters around everywhere. So he cannot go in certain areas and search for the Dragon Balls this way. Also, the Dragon Radar that they do have has now been tracked and scanned by Dr. Jiro. So, this means that Piccolo cannot search for the Dragon Balls because there's no Dragon Ball radars anymore. Because Bulma had to destroy them. So Piccolo is just searching with his eyes and word of mouth. Which definitely makes it way longer to find them. Which Goku would understand, and Piccolo has a few things for them. He would tell Goku about the heart medicine, when the androids are going to be coming on the exact date and time. He would give Goku the heart medicine and tell him to train harder than ever. As member Piccolo has the uh, memories of Kami, he would say that member that Kami and Popo have the room and spirit in time. And they can prepare it and you and the others can go in there and become as strong as possible as you guys are going to need it. And Goku remembers this. He remembers this once when he was a kid. That he went in there for only about a month, though. About an hour. But, yeah, they can definitely do it now, for sure. Now, Piccolo would have to leave. As his space, spaceship was ready to go, he would then get back into it. But, right before he does, he whispers something in the, in the, the current Piccolo's ear. Which would shock him, and then he would leave. Goku would ask what he said. And Piccolo would just scoff it off and say nothing. But Piccolo gave him a special word to him. That kind of changed his mindset about everything. But now he understands. But he keeps it to himself. Goku would then inform the rest of the Z Fighters of what's happening since the cat's out of the bag. And they would inform them what time, what date, and that we all need to train to become stronger than ever. They all agree on this. So they would all fly up to Kami's lookout and begin their training up there. Now Chi Chi was not happy. 
that they were gonna have to leave to go train but goku promises that you know they'll they'll take small little breaks as that's very you know that's what they need to do and chi chi can come stay up the, with them at akami's lookout for the time being so for the remainder of three years before the androids would even arrive their z fighters would begin their training but popo and kami had to prepare all of the preparations for the hyperlock time chamber bulma did help out with the time capsules of course which would make it much more convenient to bring food and clothing and more in there so they can of course stay there for as long as they need now of course they would all do their training on the lookout with of course on the days off gohan would just do some slight studying with chi chi so he doesn't lose his edge but gohan was very gifted anyway they would all continue training getting stronger all together now pass this mark as this will be two years later, the Z Fighters are much more powerful. Now, as I have gone over in the original, Goku and especially Gohan pile around 12,000 or so. Because it's been two years of solid training, they haven't gone to the Hyperlock Time Chamber yet. But now, because of Goku and Gohan, Gohan for sure has gotten the most powerful out of all of them. As this was Goku's plan, as it is true that he is training Gohan mainly because he knows the power that Gohan has. But of course, he's keeping himself keeping up. Gohan had a power level of around 12,000 in the Saiyan Saga. Now we're getting past the three year mark as they're going to go in the Hyperlock Time Chamber. Before they do, Gohan has a power level of around 50,000 from just training on Kami's Lookout. Goku has a power level of around 40 to 50,000 as well as he's very close to his son. Now Piccolo would have a similar power level of around 40,000. He's almost equal to son Goku. And of course, Yamcha, Krillin, and Tien are all very similar in power. They're around 25 to 30,000. So the Z Fighters have gotten a lot more powerful, of course, but the big training will be the Hyperbolic Time Chamber. They're just pre prepping their bodies for this. Now, all while they're doing this, Bulma herself is actually having a lot of fun as she's actually, she basically took apart all of Nappa's spaceship. As you guys remember, Nappa died, but Bulma has the space pods and all the technology that's in there. So she's been kind of messing with it, working with it, making her own space shuttles and stuff like that, that can travel across space at, at insane speeds. Now, of course, Bulma here has also been studying Dr. Jiro, trying to figure everything out about him that maybe they can find his lair before the androids are taken out. So Bulma will do her best to find something about that while they're gonna continue their training. But if not, they know where the androids are gonna be, they know where they're gonna be coming out of, so they are prepared for it. So, first up is Goku and Gohan. They would walk into the time chamber together, and they would be in there for a solid year. The training would be absolutely intense, as Goku states that he's not going to hold back and we're going to train harder than ever before. We need to push our limits. Now, during this whole year in time, they would continue to grow more powerful. And remember, this is the first time that they're under 10 times gravity as well. So it's a massive boost in terms of power with all of them training. So now with Gohan and Goku having power level around 40 to 50,000, Gohan, we're gonna go over Gohan last. When once when they walk out, people were shocked with how powerful they have actually become. Goku, after a year of training with the son Gohan, he was fighting a near equal, burned the hyperbolic time chamber for a year with 10 times gravity. Son Goku has a power level of around 4 to 5 million. Gohan has a power level of around 6 to 7 million. They were shocked that they can get this powerful. Now, of course, Goku offers Gohan that, hey, you can maybe go back in there with Piccolo, as Piccolo doesn't need to require anything other than water to survive. Gohan might think that that's a good idea, but... He doesn't want to push himself too hard. He just stayed a whole year in there by himself. And Goku would understand this. And Chi Chi would not allow it. She says, no, he's growing up way too fast. As Gohan is already an inch or two taller than last time. And his hair is all long. So yeah, Chi Chi doesn't want that. Piccolo would agree. He's going to go in there alone. So Piccolo would go in there by himself. Train and become stronger. Piccolo would have a power level similar to Goku. You can argue around three to four million. Now, of course, Yamcha... And you can maybe say uh, Tien or Yamcha or Krillin. They would all take turns and go inside the Hyperbolic Time Chamber to grow more powerful. You could even say that all three of them can because they don't have it, the appetite of Goku and Gohan. As they eat for like 10 people by themselves. So they are able to go in there and stay and train. All three of them would then step out as they are much more stronger. 
have it, all of them having a power level of nearly a million each. So they're immensely strong. So for the remainder of the next few months, they would continue to train lightly and enjoy life, but also practice new techniques as during this time, Piccolo was contemplating doing what the old Piccolo said, fusing with Kami, but he's despising doing that. Right when the time was perfect, the Z Fighters were all ready to go as the androids would then appear. The first android would actually be Dr. Jiro, who turned himself into one. And Android 17 and Android 18. There is no Android 19. And there is no Android 16. The reason for this is since there is no Frieza, there is no King Cold, there is no Super Saiyan, the androids are much less developed and they're not as not even close to as powerful as they were. As you know, the original androids have the ability to almost one-shot Final Form Frieza, these androids are not even close to that power at all. But they are scary powerful. Goku would then find these androids who instantly lock their eyes on Goku, and that is their main target, but Dr. Jiro would tell them to stand back. The androids would then turn to Dr. Jiro and then kill him. As they went against their own command, and the androids would state that, nah, they're going to do their own thing. Now, if you guys remember, these androids were a little bit different than the future ones. They're not as pure evil, but of course, their main mission is to kill Goku still. So first up would, of course, be Goku. Android 17 wants to take a crack at him first. Android 18 thinks, ah, oh, whatever, as she's going to go fight the other weaklings, maybe his son. So father and son would then start their fight. And now Piccolo would actually help Gohan the best he can, as Piccolo and Gohan were struggling to fight Android 18, Goku was able to fight Android 17 almost equally, but Android 17 still proved to be too powerful. And the other issue was, is that they had pretty much infinite stamina, so they can fight nonstop. It also makes them harder to track, since they don't have any key. So Goku, Gohan, and Piccolo would actually lose against these androids. Tien and Krillin, and of course Yamcha would jump in to help, but they were powerless against these androids, but they have an idea, as they would then use the Solar Flare to escape. Goku was shocked with how powerful these androids are, as Goku was very wounded. But on top of this, they would give Goku a sensu beam, but Goku was starting to succumb to the heart virus, which is a big no-no. Piccolo would then have the medicine and give it to Goku, as they would fly full speed to Master Roshi's house, where it's safe. As now, they would have Goku laid to rest while Chi-Chi would take care of him to make sure that he has the medication, as Goku would be suffering immense pain from the heart virus. As Gohan had tears in his eyes, as he doesn't know what to do, he's not strong enough to fight these androids, and now his father's dying because of him. He didn't beat them. Piccolo would then reassure Gohan and tell him that you have more power within you than even your father realizes. And Goku knows that deep down, because remember, they never talked about their room inside the Hyperlog Time Chamber, but we'll get to that shortly. The androids would then continue their onslaught, destroying and killing people. Now, Cell would still be around. Now, this version of First Form Cell is much different than the original version. This version of Cell is not even near the power that the other Cell was. He is a little bit stronger than the androids, but not by a large margin. As we know, Frieza, no Super Saiyan, no nothing. Yeah, so Cell is not that crazy powerful as he originally was, but he's still very powerful amongst the Z Fighters currently. Cell himself would then try to search around to find the androids, as Piccolo during this time would take matters into his own hands as it's time to not just be useless. He would meet up with Kami, who already knew why he was here, and they would then fuse, becoming one once more. Piccolo here has a larger power level. As I stated before, he's roughly almost the same power level as Goku, about, you know, three to four million. Goku power level about five and go on as six. Piccolo fusing with Kami, Remember, he gets a massive buff in power, as we don't officially know the multiplier for it. But even the likes with Kami, of course, is not as powerful as the one with Nail. We know that once when Nail fused a Piccolo, he got tens of times stronger. So I think it depends on the connection or maybe more. But we're going to say at bare minimum of at least twice as powerful. Bare minimum. So Piccolo here has a power level of around 8 million as he's stronger than Gohan, and he would go fight the androids. He would fight Android 17 the same as before, as this fight would be pretty intense. 
Piccolo would actually be a little bit stronger than Android 17, maybe near equal, but the fight was very, very close. Android 17 has irresistible stamina, so he was starting to get the upper hand on Piccolo before Cell would then show himself. Now in this timeline, there's no Android 16, so Android 16 would not be fighting Cell to distract him from Android 17, etc. But we would actually have Piccolo. Now Piccolo, as we know, they never abused the Sensu Beans like they did before. Corn had a lot more Sensu Beans stashed up, and they were going to use it smart. Especially since Piccolo fused with Kami, he would tell Corn that before he would go off to save these Sensu Beans and use it smisely. Piccolo will take one for himself, just in case he can get away or something happens, and he's going to go alone. Now, of course, Krillin would follow along, and Piccolo would just stay and just say, stay out of my way. Krillin understands, there's nothing that he can do. But Krillin would actually help Android 18 get away, and while Piccolo was getting absolutely demolished by First Form Cell, and him and Android 17 were fighting... This would be Piccolo's chance to tell Android 17 to run away as fast as you can to get away from here. If Cell absorbs you, he's going to become stronger than ever. Yeah. So, Cell would then trick Android 17 messing with his emotions. Android 17 would then fly in, and Cell would then absorb the android. Cell was relishing in this power, as now he was in a second form. So, Piccolo would easily be slapped to the side by Cell. Cell respects Piccolo's fight against Android 17. That's why he's not going to destroy him. Now, this version of Cell is not as canonically evil as he doesn't have Frieza or King Cold in him, but he is still programmed to destroy and become the most powerful being and to mainly kill Goku. So, but Cell is not as per se evil. He's just following a mission. So Cell would actually spare Piccolo just because he, he can, and secondly, maybe pick a look and become stronger to give him a fight, as he still has the same blood within him. Krillin would be able to get away with Android 18, so Cell was running around searching for them. Piccolo would be able to get a Sensu Bean and escape with barely being alive. Piccolo would be mad at himself that he let this Cell creature absorb Android 17, as Krillin and Android 8 will be hiding together. This is where they start forming a little relationship, as we know in the original, because now they're spending more time together. And Krillin will state that if I can hide my power level and you don't need to, we can get away. As Cell would have them trapped around these islands, he would continue searching around for them. This is where some change is going to occur. Guess who shows up after a few years? The Prince of All Saiyans himself, Vegeta. Vegeta would then land in a space pod as Cell would sense an oncoming energy coming this way. And he would recognize who Vegeta was. And he would be questioning, why is he here? And Vegeta would state that I'm here to have my rematch with Kakarot. But since the fact that you're here and you're going to block that way or destroy him, no one can kill him but me. So Vegeta says, I have a present from me to you. And Vegeta would then fire a massive Gallic gun attack at Cell which Cell would then block the attack, only having minor scratches on him, but Cell doesn't really affect him, they're just dust marks. Cell would say that you've gotten a lot more powerful than my database has shown. This version of Vegeta has pushed himself far more than he ever has before, and Vegeta went here in incognito, so Frieza does not know that he left. He left his scouter, he left everything else, he pretty much just went there bare bones to fight Goku, and then go back out. Because he doesn't want Frieza or any of you know, Zarbon or Dodoria getting into his business. This is just personal. Vegeta here, how strong is he? We know that Vegeta had a power level of around 18,000. Now, over these three years, he has been training harder than he's ever been before. Truly pushing his limit. This version of Vegeta does have a power level very similar to Piccolo, having a power level of around 6 to 7 million. He's very similar to Kakarot, and he was able to keep up with him. Now, Vegeta's very confident. Maybe he thinks he can take on Frieza, but he wants bigger fish to fry later. He wants to fight Kakarot first, beat him, and probably kill him, and then go on to fight Frieza on his own. That's his main mission. And then he'll rule over the universe with an iron fist. The fight with Cell would be very interesting, as Vegeta was adapting during Cell during the battle, but Cell would prove to be a bit too much for this version of Vegeta. Until, surprisingly, Piccolo would then save his life, appearing back. 
As Piccolo took the Sensu Bean, he was back up to full strength again, and he would sense Vegeta coming. Vegeta was furious and says to not get in his way. And Piccolo would kind of shut him up and say, look, you know he's stronger than you and even stronger than me. So if we do not work together and hold him off or at least try and defeat him, he will kill us both. And you know that. And then how will you be able to get your fight with Goku? Vegeta would then scowl as this is not what a Saiyan does, but he doesn't have a choice. So Piccolo and Vegeta team up would happen against this version of Cell and the fight would be intense. Cell was actually struggling a little bit here as Vegeta's gonna show a new move that he was thinking of. He was gonna use it to kill Kakarot with it, but he doesn't have a choice as he tells Piccolo to get back or unless you wanna be hit. He would then begin charging up a Gallic, massive Gallic gun, firing it at Cell, but it was a distraction. As the smoke would clear, Cell would then look up to see Vegeta holding two arms out as Vegeta would then charge up a final flash and hit Cell full force. Cell was shocked by this immense power, but Vegeta was completely exhausted as Cell would then regenerate from just a few pieces that are left on the ground. And Cell was amazed that Vegeta had that much power within him, but now it's his turn. As Cell would then easily beat down on Piccolo and Vegeta, he would then spare him as he has an idea. Once when he finds Android 18, Maybe he can open up a little tournament. All these Z fighters can go fight him and he can have a true battle to test his new perfect body. So I feel like by this point, he would find Android 18 and Krillin as there's not much else that they can hide. And Cell would easily knock Krillin out of the way and absorb Android 18, becoming Perfect Cell. As now Perfect Cell would then state what he was going to do before starting up a little tournament against the rest of the Z fighters. Now, most of the events would happen the same as Vegeta was gravely wounded. He would actually be healed at Bulma's house. This is where Bulma and Vegeta would start getting a little bit of a relationship going here. But Vegeta would throw it to the side, of course. As Vegeta would then heal up, Goku would then recover from the heart virus by this point, And he would get the whole rundown on Cell. And what are they going to do to defeat him? Well, Goku would state here that they're going to have to... As they, remember, they have 11 to 12 days to train. So... They have to go back in the hyperbolic time chamber, at least for a little bit, as they ask Popo, how much more can we use this room? As they used it so much that Popo doesn't have much supplies left. Bulma has a little bit of supplies left. He states, well, we can go in there for a little bit, maybe a few months at, at most. Goku states, we're going to have to use that as Goku and Gohan would then go in for roughly three to four months, becoming more powerful. Once when they step out, they would be a lot more powerful than the original. Of course, with Goku, remember had a power level of 5,000, 5 million, Gohan had a power level of 6 million. They would bump up to around 10 million each, which they are more powerful than Piccolo, but it's not enough to fight this version of Cell. Now, this version of Cell has a power level similar to that of Final Form Frieza. He has a power level of around 100 million to 150 million. So this version of Cell is obviously not as powerful as his original, but compared to the Z Fighters currently, he's terribly strong. But now they were ready to go fight Cell as the Z Fighters would then rush in and begin their fight. Goku would then fight Cell first, as Goku wants Gohan to watch, as Gohan was even stronger than him. Of course, he was hiding it. Goku's main mission was to train Gohan for this, not to truly train himself. And Goku was confident that Gohan will win, and he knows why. Or Cell was holding back a lot of his power. They would have fun trading blows back and forth. Goku would try everything in the book with Solar Flare and more against Cell. But after a long hard fight, Goku's outfit was pretty much destroyed. He knows that he cannot defeat Cell by himself and Cell was barely even breaking a sweat. Goku would then tell Cell that I give up and that his son Gohan would then step to the ring. Gohan was a little bit nervous, but then Gohan would then go to the stage and he would begin powering up. This version of Gohan has a power level of around 15 million. So he's 5 million more than his father. This impresses Cell a little bit, as Gohan does not have the drive that his father did, but that's the original Gohan. This version of Gohan is not as soft-hearted. He does have a calm spirit, but he's not refusing to fight Cell. He knows that Cell is a threat and that he has to protect everybody. So Gohan would fight Cell seriously, and it would be a great battle, but Cell would overpower Gohan, showing off his true strength, and Gohan was in the losing end of the battle. But Goku knows, he knows that Gohan has a hidden power within him that far surpasses any of us. Piccolo was confused and asked, what does he mean? Goku would state that in the hyperbolic time chamber, 
They were training more intense than ever before. And he saw something. Gohan was nearly defeated, but in a small fit of rage and emotion, he saw something that he never saw before. And the raw power that he saw Gohan produce will easily defeat this version of Cell. But Gohan just needs that push. As Cell would pick up on this. And Cell knows that he has a hidden power within him. So because of this, Cell would then torture Gohan, but that's not working. So Cell needs to break him. Cell would then aim his hand, and he would then fire a beam right through Goku's chest. And he would also hit it through Krillin and Tien, as Gohan would then scream for him to stop. As he would see his father nearly killed on the floor, Gohan's hair would begin standing up as his power begins to skyrocket. Gohan's power level of 15 million is now rising rapidly, as Cell would then smirk as this is what he wanted, but then he started looking in fear, as he's never seen this before. As Gohan's hair starts to turn gold back and forth, as these massive beams of energy was hitting around them like lightning, Vegeta was utterly shocked. As his eyes were widening, is it true? Is he turning into the legendary Super Saiyan? As everybody heard this, Gohan would then let out one massive scream as the transformation was complete. Gohan has now become a Super Saiyan. His power level was so enormous that this completely shocked Cell. Gohan's power level here as a Super Saiyan is 750 million on top of his rage. So he has a power level of nearly 1 billion. So of course the likes of Frieza and even Cell who's stronger than Frieza has no chance against this version of Gohan. Cell here would then scream in rage as he would be easily dominated and overpowered by Gohan. Gohan would start to get cocky. His Saiyan side would start to take over a bit more. But in this timeline, Gohan knows to finish Cell instantly as he's not as gullible as he was in the original. So, this version of Gohan would then easily fly in to defeat Cell and deliver a massive gut punch which would make him spit out Android 18, saving her life. Gohan would then charge up a massive Kamehameha wave and hit Cell full force, completely obliterating him. As now, Gohan then reverts back to base form, completely exhausted. The threat of Cell is finally over. The Z Fighters would then recover, as they would all then be happy with Gohan, and they would all recover and go back to their original lives. This, of course, greatly changes the Buu timeline, as Goku was never dead for seven years, but Goten will still be born at the same time, and this is when a lot of things are going to change. And that is it for this one. If you guys thank you for watching, hope you guys enjoyed the super long what if video. I decided to do a long one for you guys. I hope you guys enjoy it. Thank you all for the support. Let's get this to 250 likes. Let's get to 20,000 subscribers. And I'll talk to you all later.